If you've been dreaming of creating an online course, but you're not quite sure if you're ready, this video is for you. I'm Nikki Elledge Brown, the communication stylist, and in the next few minutes, I wanna give you three surefire signs that you are ready to go ahead and create your first online course. So a little bit of background, if you know me or maybe if you don't, before I launched my business in April of 2013, I spent seven years teaching communication at the college level. So some of that was part-time, some of it was in grad school, but I taught face-to-face -face classes, I taught fully online classes, and I taught hybrid classes where there was a little bit face-to-face -face in the real physical classroom and then a little bit online. I love teaching. I love teaching, but I hate grading. That's like rubrics and track changes and all that stuff like that's none of the fun stuff of teaching the fun stuff for me is facilitating those light bulb moments and seeing people actually getting it and taking it and run with it whatever it may be that you're teaching um, so creating an, a course was kind of always on my radar and I saw my business my new platform that I was going to build as my global classroom you know like Oprah called it in her final season of her show a global classroom like I can teach everybody everything I know but I don't have to do any grading. That would be sweet. So it was like my dream classroom. It just took me about a year to actually make it happen. So you may also know that in February of this year, 2014, I launched the first iteration of my first program, a course about copy. It was wild and crazy, um, really difficult, really rewarding, really amazing. I could tell you all about it. Actually, I already shared a lot of my story over on the rise to the top.com and I'll share a link below that if you want to read more details. But the point is, it was a game changer, and I knew it was going to be a game changer for me, for my business, for my family. And so I believe really strongly in great courses. So not just courses for the sake of courses, and I know sometimes people outlaw all courses, which I think is kind of silly. It's like outlawing all carbohydrates, um, because the right ones are the ones that you're actually going to use to fuel you, and the wrong ones are the ones that leave you feeling guilty because you're not doing anything with them, you're just storing them. Instead of on your thighs, you're storing them on your desktop. Um, anyway, so I believe in the good of courses, and I believe if we're creating them, we really need to have something valuable to share. So that's why I wanted to encourage you and have a little checklist of these three things to ask yourself to figure out if you really are ready to go ahead and create your first course. So question number one, sign number one, is do you have something valuable to teach? So when I say something valuable to teach, I mean like this is something actionable. It's a system or a process or something step by step that you can teach other people that then they can do on their own. Um, instead of a theory, I mean, and I love theory, and if you would ever want a course on communication theory, I would actually love to create it for you, but most people want something actionable that they can do. So if you have something like that, so in my case, a course about copy, it's all about writing your site because I knew in my first several months of my business, I was just working one-on-one -on -one with clients, one-on-one and one-on-one, -on -one, over 160 clients and literally over 200 one-on-one -on -one sessions in the first eight months of my business. So I instantly saw patterns, I mean, within like the first five sessions, these are the things that people need help with. This is something that would be really helpful. And over time, I developed what I call these recipes that make it really easy for beginning writers who are like so nervous with the blank page to have kind of a scaffolding to like say, okay, you can write about this, and you can write about this, and write about this. And so of course about copy for me is that system. It's that process. It's literally here write your site and then go crazy and style it up and make it feel like you, but here's a good starting point. And so it saves people hours, weeks, thousands of dollars, um, lots of frustration. So there's something like that that you can offer. If there is, then that's a really good sign that you have some great course material that you're sitting on. Question or sign number two is, do I have someone that wants to learn it? So again, I knew because basically by doing all those several months of one-on-ones, I knew I was like doing my market research, okay? I have all my dream clients who would love to learn this stuff because they've been asking me and paying me for it for the whole year. So I knew there were people who wanted to learn it. So ask yourself, do I have an interested group of people? Put the, put the feelers out there in a blog post like, hey, would you want a course on this? What do you want to know about it? And actually just survey people and find out. Um, also, when it comes to list size, like you want to actually launch your course to someone, you don't want to spend all of your time and energy creating this course and then have nobody to launch it to. That doesn't mean you have to have a huge list um, because all that matters is that you have the right people. So if it's 50 of the right people, it's totally fine that your list is 50. 
uh, for the first launch of a course about copy, my interest list was about 1,200. I didn't actually check that week, but I was watching closely over the whole course of the launch. It was about 1,200 people. And I ended up having 51 members in my founding class. That was over $51,000 from the first launch of my first program, which is so crazy to me. Really crazy to me. Um, what's even crazier is that I expect to more than double that the next time when I open it for good this summer. Game changing is what I'm telling you. So make sure that you've got people who want to learn whatever that system, process, time-saving technique is that you want to teach. The third question or sign is do you want to scale? Are you really ready to grow? And as my buddy David Simon Garland likes to say, punch dollars for hours in the face. So are you really ready to do that? Some people love one-on-ones and they don't ever want to lose that one-on-one -on -one interaction. So courses aren't for them and maybe that's not for you. But if you do want to scale, holy cow, an online course is a really great way to do that. I cannot tell you how amazing it felt to realize once I was like in it and actually creating, to realize whether I create this for 10 people, 100 people, or 1,000 people, I'm doing the same amount of work. That is freeing. And as a mom of a toddler and a military wife, like the one-on-ones, again, I love them. They're great, but they require child care or they require me to physically be somewhere at a certain time and I really like just being able to work during nap times like he's napping upstairs right now um, or after bedtime especially if my husband's gone then creating my course kept me company um, but I really like having that flexibility and by having a course especially once it's up and running without me evergreen that is hugely freeing so if you're if that appeals to you then you might want to consider creating an online course and some people do live courses where you're actually going through it so the first time I did it it was live um, some do evergreen where it's just like once you've got it set up then people can buy it any day of the year and then there's you know kind of in between hybrids so you can make it whatever you want to make it but the point is ultimately you can serve a whole lot more people and generate a lot more revenue if you have a course as opposed to limiting yourself with one-on-ones um, yeah so that's it. So three questions, three signs to ask yourself. Do you have something viable to teach? Do you know who wants to learn what you have to teach? And are you ready to scale? And it takes work. It's going to be more work on the front end the first time you create it. But after that, dude, there is no limit to what you can do with it. So if you answered yes to those three questions, then I have a very fun invitation for you, which you may have already heard about. But this Wednesday, depending on when you're watching this in time and space, because it'll be on YouTube indefinitely, but this Wednesday, which is May 14th, 2014, at 11.30 Eastern, David Seitman Garland, creator of Create Awesome Online Courses and the Rise to the Top.com, David and I are hosting, co-hosting, a webinar. This is my first webinar ever to host or co-host for that matter, so it's exciting for lots of reasons. But what we're going to cover in this call are five key mistakes that most people make in creating and marketing their online courses and of course we want to tell you what to do instead. I talked about um, the obsession with step by step and I think that's one of my favorite things about David's teaching style. So his course, Create Awesome Online Courses, I enrolled in it in August of 2013 and I told you I've taught college for years and I have created college courses from scratch. But I knew I had this resistance and I didn't want to have the excuse of, oh, but I don't know how to create a course for this audience. I didn't want to have that excuse. So when I saw Create Awesome Online Courses, I went ahead and signed up. I inhaled all of the modules. Um, I listened to them all, I think, in like a span of a week. And then I sat on them and finally got my buns in gear later on at the end of 2013. But I just love his teaching style. It's super actionable. He doesn't let you get lost in the rabbit holes of, oh, what I could do it this way, or oh, I could do it this way. There are a million ways you could do so many things, um, but that's just overwhelming, and you don't need to have all of those million ways. You just need one way that works, and that's what he's about. That's what A Course About Copy is all about. It's like, take these recipes and then style them up later, but you don't have to be dealing with frustration and not knowing what to do. So all that to say, I'm inviting you personally, officially today to join us for the webinar. I'm going to put a link below if you're watching this on YouTube and May 14th, 2014 hasn't passed yet, then head on over to NikkiElledgeBrown.com and find the link. Um, but then also for bonus points, extra credit, I would love to know now that your gears are turning about creating your first online course, what would your course be about? 
I want to know. So tell me below in the comments, what would your first course, or maybe it's your second course, be about? So sign up to join David and I, David and me, <laughs> for the call on Wednesday. Let us know what your first course may be about. It's good to put that out there in the universe so that you've got some accountability going. And have a lovely week, weekend, wherever you are. All right, talk soon. Bye.